Hi guys, um, today I'm going to, I've been doing some different pour techniques with the poster paint. So I, I previously did uh, lots of dips and they worked out great. I have done a swipe. Um, I'm not sure if you'll have seen that one yet, but I'm now going to try the Dutch pour or the blow hairdryer blowy thing. Um, so it was just to test a budget, again, experimenting. You know, I'm in my art lab mode. It was experimenting if the uh, poster tempura paints mixed with the PVA glue and water mix, as I did before, um, can do all the different techniques that acrylic paint can do. So, so far we're having good results, but the reason for this is basically for people that have to be budget conscious or are beginning their art journey and want to start with cheaper options so they can test out their techniques. Um, but I have found when I've done poster paints um, work that they've mostly turned out gorgeous even because I add the, P the PVA, this particular one I added the Montmartre PVA uh, craft glue um, at the 70-30 mix of the craft glue added to the poster paints, which I think in the US you call them tempura paints. Um, so you can get them worldwide. I'll put the link on to the US uh, suppliers of these products and the Cat Canadian. And of course, we've got our own Aussie supplier, online supplier. Um, that you can get these products from uh, Capriol Shabby Chic. So this is another test. So I'm just using up all these paints that I've got and I thought I will see how I go with the um, doing the blow thing, blow worky thing. So I'm going to. So this I just made up a big pot of white studio acrylic, uh, white the Montmartre studio acrylic because I knew that I was going to do all the different experiments with the different techniques so I'm just going to spread this out give it a go uh, I guess you guys are all hearing about the terrible um, and absolutely devastating fires in Australia and they're absolutely unprecedented uh, loads of people are sending me messages asking if we're okay where we are we're absolutely okay where we are at the present time but anybody living anywhere even the suburbs has to be hyper vigilant because there is lots of um, fire bugs meaning people that are actually going around lighting or spreading these fires and the Australian authorities have arrested many of them so um, not a very good thing to be doing obviously um, and I hope that they um, receive the full extent of the law's ability to sort them out the people that need to go light fires i mean yeah not good okay so move on with the artwork but just wanted you to know because you asked that we're okay at the present time so but we will be fine i absolutely believe that Okay, this is going to be the blowy thing. So, 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 so. What colours will I go with? Well, I've got this, I always, I've got this last bit of the turquoise. Remember, these are the Montmartre um, pouring, uh, Montmartre poster paints. Going to do a diagonal thingy, thingy doover. Okay, you know that you don't need very much paint when you're doing this, the blow, the hair dryer blowy thing. Okay, always like red with turquoise, that looks nice.
probably way more paint than I actually need. That's the nice bright red and this is like a, a dark gold so I'll put some gold in there. Goldilocks. And I might put a bit of the black. This is just a little bit of the black uh, dimensions paint that I mix with a bit of Floetrol um, because this is what seems to be a cell activator in many of the techniques we're getting uh, um, lacing so we all try the old celly thing I'll put a bit of more white so we've got plenty to blow probably plenty to make a mess of again um, I've put I probably should have done this thinner making up that but I didn't so there you go Okay, take that one out, put that one in. I'm just getting my. Never seem to get my hair dry. I know I'm supposed to have it on cold. So, what's that? Cold. Okay. Une, deux, trois. Oh, yeah, that's cold. Okay, give it a go. cloud pour, a Dutch pour, an Aussie pour, well, I don't know, what do you think guys, I will get my little, this is just a little um, skewer, a wooden skewer, let's do some uh, embellishment on this and take some pieces out, So it's just using the, not this, I haven't used the spiky end of it, I've just used the other end of the skewer. So remembering this is just the poster paint, Tempura paint, seeing what we can, what kind of results we can get. And I think the fault here is not in the paints, it's in the poorer me. Um, I should have had a far a thinner coat underneath because as you see, it should blow around really easily but um, it was struggling because the paint was too thick so note to self and others thinner paint if you're using tempura if you're doing a cloud pour so all a learning experience but that's my Another one ticked off the list, so I've done the deep paint in the post paint and I've done a swipe in the post paint, so this is the hair dryer dutchy pour thing. Which the beautiful Rinska Duna Rinska Duna um, kicked off everybody's obsession with it. But you know, you know, my instinct, as you know, what would it be? You're thinking my way. 
the, the instinct is hit it with the balloon but I'm not going to because I'm trying to show you the different techniques so that one is the hair dryer thing I'll give you a close up you can tell me a yay or a nay some might love it some might hate it but I'm trying to bring the different techniques to you in experiments to see what you can do at home with post paint so thank you guys for joining me again and thank you for subscribing to my channel um, if you haven't done so please do so appreciate it uh, hit the little notification button so you just get a little reminder when I've put a video up and hopefully it might be something that helps you on your art journey or just entertains you so until next time bye for now Hi guys, um, I don't know if you've watched the others or maybe I'm not even sure what order I will put these in but what I've been doing is I've been experimenting with the Tempura poster paints all the different techniques to see if the cheap and budget conscious uh, minded people and beginners can use the Tempura which are poster paints added, uh, added to them the pouring medium of PVA and water as a pouring medium if they will do the same techniques as acrylic paints will do so I've done a series of I've done the dips I've done the swipe I've done the uh, uh, Dutch blow thing Dutch pour whatever they call it and now I'm going to do a dirty pour with the leftover paints that I've got left so it's just to um, let you guys see whether it's capable of achieving the techniques for beginners so here we go I'm going to uh, do a dirty pour with them so 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 well I just start off with the color I have here okay I will add okay I'm starting I have a bit of gold left in the bottom they have gone quite thick so I'm not sure how they're going to uh, do a dirty pour but we'll try so that was the gold bright red what shall I put in between that? Uh, okay, I will go the, um, it's like a fuchsia, pale fuchsia colour. I'll put some black. I will go a darker fuchsia colour. So remembering that these are all the Montmartre um, poster paints. They're, they're available in the US and they're available in Australia online art supplier below but I've also given the link to the US suppliers of the Montmartre products for so many people asking me in the US and Canada for the links to the um, suppliers so they are there now and of course our good good Aussie um, family run business Cabriol Shabby Chic they're comparable prices to anyone else. They're a family-run business, and I like supporting family-run businesses. Okay, so I'm just yeah, going through all the leftovers that I've had. So just to see what this technique with the flip cut pour, if it actually works with poster paints. I think when I first mixed up, I just put one drop of the... Um, the Montmartre uh, silicone in in it so we'll see how that goes just top it off with the last bit of yellow so here goes guys what will happen with poster paints tempura paints will it give a same effect in a dirty flip cup core or whatever they call in it these days so I'll just call it a jilly flip, a jilly flip. It could be a disaster, it could be a master. Who knows, but let's give it a go. 
you've just got to try and experiment and that's what I'm all about is to try and do as many, many experiments for you all and you can see the results and judge for yourself and then it saves you the money oh wow I'm flitting around here and some nice little things happening there but you know I won't speak too soon but yeah so that's what I'm happy to do is be a bit of an art lab for you all to uh, try these different products out and, I, and if I get other products that come across my path or the um, art suppliers send me anything I'm always happy to give things a try and give my honest opinion on them so I've absolutely loved the love 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 the tempura paints for the dips I'll just get one and show you I just want to let that because the paints pretty thick I just want to let it all go to the very bottom I can put a, like a pinprick in it but okay so absolutely love 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 my results this is all nice and dry uh, of the dip that was the dip with the tempura paint so absolutely gorgeous 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 um just try and find the other one where's my other one okay and this was the one i did last night so it's not quite dry but it certainly stayed in place it's not really changed so that was different colors again but that was dip dipping with the tempura paints the poster paints so that's drying nicely um, and of course I've got the other sides to those but just wanted to I might add a few of these videos together so it will give you the results or but they're there anyway on my um, video library on my YouTube channel so I don't know whether to oh, just go for it hey just do it okay wow 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 well, who'd have thought you'd have got all those cells with tempura paints or poster paints? Ugh. Sticking underneath because I scraped the previous canvas off. Wow, look at those cells for tempura paints. Oh my goodness. So, well, I'm not going to speak too soon because I've got to tilt it, haven't I? around the joint around the place to see but holy dooly look at those I would never have thought myself because I actually haven't I don't recall doing a flip cut with the poster paints but what I'm going to do is just the last bit of pink that I have here have this pink so I might run this round the edges so it'll help me um, offload the rest of this paint nicely. It's very thick and I probably, well I definitely should have um, attempted to water it down before I started this pour because that is way too thick for a certain. But I'm pretty amazed at those cells. They may break up, they may stay. It'll be interesting to see, but that is an, a result that I never expected. just need to take a photograph of those cells before they go any further so I've got a record of it myself 